Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna be doing a super chill video. I'm gonna be making some tikka masala chicken. Actually, it's not chicken, it's turkey. Um, I'm just cooking up something quick and I thought, why not film it? Because you guys really like my food videos. So today we're gonna do one of those. So these are my ingredients today. I've got two onions, turkey. I'm basing the recipe on this tikka masala spice paste. And um, there's a small recipe on the back, so I'm just following this. Also got some double cream. I'm actually going to put some butter beans in there because I really like butter beans. Obviously not great afterwards, you know, passing in all that. Okay, let me not talk about that. But then we've got some chopped tomatoes, garlic and ginger paste. And literally that's all I need. So it's actually not that bad. It's quite easily to whip up. And then I'll show you guys how I cook my rice. I'm going to put some gloves because I don't like it when food gets all up in my nails and stuff. I'm going to cut these onions. I'm going to try and not mess up the kitchen whilst cooking and clean as I go. It's so much better cooking in gloves, but I try not to use these much because they are like, I don't know, they're like plasticky, aren't they? Not good for the environment. So yeah, I wear these rarely, but when I'm like touching turmeric or like onions and garlic, Or anything like Indian -y where there's a strong smell. I wait, oops. I'm so bad at cutting my um, vegetables thin. Now I'm gonna have to invest in a proper chopping board. This one is so shit, sorry, but Ooh. look at that, it just moves everywhere. How annoying. Okay, we've got our pan. I need to get some pans as well because all of ours are like scratched, but actually cannot be asked okay do you guys use ol um, olive oil or actual vegetable oil to cook with because i always use olive oil don't know why i'm gonna put our onions in we're then gonna put one big tablespoon of our garlic and ginger okay so now we're gonna put half of this in this um tikka masala paste I actually wanted to try the tandoori one, but my local Tesco didn't have it, so we're, I'm gonna do tikka. So yeah, we wanna put half of this in, and then it also says to put 50 ml of water, and we're gonna let that cook for a couple minutes. So it becomes a little bit thicker. It says to like let it simmer until all the water has evaporated, and looks like it, because it's much thicker now. Um, <clears throat> now I'm just gonna take the turkey, and literally put all of it in there. It then says to add 200 grams of chopped tomatoes. So I'm gonna put half of this tinned can, maybe a little bit more, because there's a lot of turkey in there. Oh, yes, I'm gonna stir that up. It's already looking really yummy. And it also says to add some water, 150 ml water, which I actually need to do. So in goes the water. We're gonna let this cook for 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna come back and then we'll put in the double cream and the beans and it should be done. It already smells so yum. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do so and join the Anushka family. Yes, join, join, everyone's welcome. And also let me know in the comments what you want me to cook next. I know I've got some on my list and I don't know, let me know if there's something in particular. Maybe a Mauritian dish. Gato Pima, I've never done it before. Guys, I bought this literally, I think, two days ago. Look at that, it's almost gone. Everyone's just going at it with a spoon. It's just so good, but it's just going to go all to my hips and my face. Anyways, I'm making some coffee for my hubby. Oh my god, my husband. I don't know how to explain it, but I still need to get used to saying husband. But yeah, we use this Dolce Gusto coffee machine literally just take it out it's so hard to film with just one hand put that in and then you just slide it back in i think it's the top one is it yeah it's that one i don't remember oh yeah it is so just push it to the hot side i really struggle with milk like I do have it sometimes, but when I have it like straight in a drink, like it gives me bad tummy aches. So I always drink like soy milk or my sister bought some oat milk, which I kind of like, but yeah, I try to avoid milk, like straight up milk, I can't. So 
this does have milk in it. Okay guys, this is like the best contraption ever because I don't know, it's like using a sieve but it's like easier, I don't know, but it just makes cooking, washing rice so much easier. So I'm going to do three cups of basmati rice. Why did I do that in an Indian accent? I'm so racist. What the hell? Okay, then we're gonna wash it. Do you know some people don't wash their rice? I'm full cheesy, what the hell? Alright, you know you're not meant to sometimes. No, you are! No, literally on some packets of rice it says you're not meant to wash it. Look how dirty that is. You people just eat it like that. Yeah, that's not dirt. Yes, it is. That's just the rice. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. I have to clean. This is typical. You want to make food, but the damn thing's already dirty and used in the fridge. There's a lot of people that don't have rice cookers. If you ask me to cook rice like manually, like on the thing, I will fail terribly. Can you? No, I don't think I've ever met an Asian person that doesn't have a rice cooker. <laughs> they don't have one. Yeah. I'm gonna put a poll up, guys. Let me know if you have a rice cooker. <laughs> Three. People are going to say, how can you do that next to fairy liquid? How much was I at? Hmm? How much was I at? One, two, three? Oh, four. This is the fourth one. I re we recorded it, you can check. I can't check it. Oh, that looks right. Plus four. I could check it, but I'm being too lazy. We well, show them the curry. Look at it. Looks so beautiful. I'm putting. I've put in a bit of double cream. Beans. Maybe I put too much cream. <laughs> Swipe clean fa facial cleansing oil. This is by Bybee. Mm. I was actually sent this because if I'm going to do any Halloween looks, these, this is going to help you really remove it. It smells yum too. Did you just take a spoon of this recently? No. What? That wasn't me. That was literally. Look at it! That was me. No. That's such a lie. I didn't take what? a spoon recently. I took it like this morning. Majority of the time when me and my siblings, you're literally blurred out. <laughs> Majority of the time when me and my siblings fight, it's literally about food. How sad is that? And dishes. The last time me and my brother had a massive fight, I ended up <clears throat> throwing the whole ba bin bag on him. <laughs> The presentation of it is very poor. It literally looks like a mess. Look at my plate. <laughs> Anyways, taste test time. It's hot. I'm gonna go watch Power, so I'm gonna do quick taste test on this and then I'm gonna go watch some Netflix. Oh yeah, the meat cooks so well as well. It's not like chewy, it's like soft. Mmm. Guys, this is so yum. Even though like the paste came from a pot, like it actually tastes really nice. Not the healthiest of foods, but I really do I really do recommend this. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, please. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one.